Hi everyone, it's Tony Richards and welcome to today's Life Focus. I want to talk for just a few minutes today and actually want to ask you a question. Why are you holding yourself back? Why? Why is that? You know, I talk with a lot of people and many times the real reason they are not advancing in their, their career, their, their life, is because they are holding themselves back. Yeah, we can all come up with excuses and reasons why others are, but when it really comes down to it, for the most part, we hold ourselves back. They say, I'm not good enough, I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm not ready, I'm not in a good position. Well, that may be reasons, but are they reasons or are they excuses? What about you? What are you saying? How do you say it? What are you telling yourself more than others of why you're not getting ahead and why you're holding yourself back. Watch the amount of noise in your life. We all have noise around us. These are distractions. These are sometimes people that uh, get us off track. Sometimes there are events that have happened. Uh, the coronavirus definitely is a noise in our life, but, but, but it also is an opportunity for us to really think through and plan and decide how we're gonna come out of this. Don't let things bring you out of it. You decide how you're coming out of it and how you are going to make the difference and how you're going to impact your own life and hopefully others. Understand that the only one you can truly control is you. That's right. So stop letting others control you. Stop trying to control others. That's so much wasted energy. You know, when we, when we, tell people you need to do it this way, you need to do it that way. Now, if you're in a leadership position, you're giving instruction or teaching or something like that, that's different. But when we try, I know a lot of people that go through life and try to control others. And you know what? No one really cares for that. And it's really a waste of their time. You try. You, a lot of people sometimes do that because they want to make themselves look good. Well, some people are legends in their own minds too. So, Connect to your future and to connect to your future self, one way to do that is by using what's called a spaghetti diagram. To make a circle in the middle of a piece of paper and what's my goal? This is what I want to achieve. And then you draw lines from that circle and each line is something you're going to do to achieve that. Let me know if you'd like an example and I'll send it to you. Envision your future self. Look at and understand what is it and how is it that I am going to be the best that I can be. But I need to understand what I look like in the future and how I'm going to get there. Remember, as a leader, lead in the future, but act in the now. I heard that uh, from a speaker this morning, and I thought that was really good. Lead in the future, but act in the now. Oh, that's so critical. Say I will no longer hold myself back. Come on, I want you to say it. Say it now, ready? Ready, on the count of three, I want you to say it with me. One, two, three. I will no longer hold myself back. It's important that we verbalize it, we express it, because we're telling ourselves, but we're also telling others. So I want you to create quality connections in your life, people that are going to really help you, positive events, positive people, Things that can help you to change and not hold or continue to allow yourself to hold you back. And that's including you. Uh, it may seem a little strange, but I really want you to think about this. Are you a quality connection to yourself or are you too negative to yourself and about yourself? Build on your strengths. You've got strengths. We all have strengths. Just getting through what we're getting through every day is a strength. Build on that. Remember that success comes in cans and not in cans. That's right. So start looking at your life as an opportunity to make your goals and dreams come true. You have opportunities. You have a lot of them before you. Even in the most difficult situation, there's always an opportunity. There's always an option. Now, start believing it. Now, start defining it. And now, start living it. Start living it. Be the best possible you there is. Take positive control of the moment, of your life, of your destiny, and start right now, and you will go forward. Hey, our daughter Faith, 
supposed to graduate today, but because of the weather, they're going to change that to tomorrow. So keep faith in your prayers as she graduates from high school, and we're so proud of her. All right, you take care. You have a beautiful, blessed weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Write me at Tony Richards speaking at gmail.com. Check out my website at TonyRichards.net. People say, how can we get you to speak? Check out my website, TonyRichards.net. The information's on there. Also write me at TonyRichardsSpeaking at gmail.com. All right, be safe. God bless. You take care. Be strong. Be very strong in yourself. Understand yourself and stop holding yourself back. And when you do, you know what's going to happen? You will go forward.